questions at 844-305-7800. Make sure you write this number down because we're going to be talking now with the founder, actually, of horseopeace.com, and it's Elizabeth Sanders, and she is the founder of the company. And you want to make sure that you write the number down because compliments of Elizabeth uh, Elizabeth Sanders, founder of horseopeace.com. We're going to be giving away some of her soaps, and we're going to find out a little bit about them now. And I want to welcome onto the program Elizabeth Sanders. Hey, Elizabeth, how you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks, John, for having me. Anytime, anytime. It's wonderful to have you on with us, and I'm I'm very excited because I have not taken a shower. I mean, I've taken a shower, <laughs> but I've not taken a shower with your soap yet, and I am going to be doing it after the show tonight. So I think we all are. Jilly said oh, she God, was, too. I can't too. wait to get home and get in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am glad to hear that you guys have a special treat coming for you then. Oh, they have these. I've been reading all the ingredients on the back of it, and it's just it's perfect. I mean, with olive oil and coconut oil and um, the uh, the oatmeal and the raw honey and the vitamin E, my goodness. Well, you got to tell us, Elizabeth, how did, you know, you're the founder of horseopeace.com. Now, that's your website, too, right, of course, where people can go and check out the soaps? Yes, that is correct. How did you start mm-hmm. getting into soaps, like making soaps? And what are they made of? Because it's, it's 100% raw goat milk, right? Yes, that is correct. I started making soaps almost nine years ago. It'll be nine years ago next month in February. And I began just when I was living on my family's hobby farm at the time. My older sister had goats, and they had enough milk that they produced that we kind of were shaking our heads going, how are we going to use it all? So it was my idea one day to read books from the library and learn about goat milk soap. I had heard about it before, and I wanted to learn how to make it. I thought it might be an extra way to use up all that excess milk. So I learned in the course of um, beginning to make it that the, the raw goat milk, when it was used in the soap that I made, it had such a high moisturizing quality that I stopped using any water in my recipes so that it was 100% raw goat milk, and it made the soap so incredibly moisturizing that at the time I lived in northern Minnesota, my hands would crack and bleed every winter from the harsh elements, and my hands never once cracked and bled after the first batch of soap that I made. So it made such a huge difference on my skin that um, from the very first batch, I had people asking if they could buy some of the soap, if it, some of it could be stocked in stores. It was just such a, a soap that was made out of all natural ingredients. There's no chemicals in it no dyes, um, and so people could tell that it was something that was going to help their skin. And so we've been in business for nine years because of that. Wow, nine years. Now, you're based out of North Carolina, correct? Yes, we are. We have really good weather here, so don't experience those harsh, cold winters, but we do get some very dry summers. So using um, the soap here at Horse of Peace, um, we definitely don't experience dry skin anymore, even... Um, I had a 12-year problem with experiencing dandruff, and that completely went away once I started using the Horse of Peace soap on my scalp as a shampoo bar soap. And so um, I was pleased to find that once I started um, seeing what it did for my skin, then we started hearing from our customers just that they were experiencing the same things. You know, it's, it's interesting. You, if you hear the little crackle in the background, that's, We're opening them that's, all. that's Lexi opening up the soap. And I, I'm, I'm getting a <laughs> kick out of it, actually, Elizabeth, because Lexi's putting each soap up to her nose, and I can tell where she's, like, smelling ones, and she smelled the lavender, and she was like, oh, my God, this is so the good. Lev- well, my lavender heavenly. is a scented one where all my other ones are unscented, that's but they what, all have a scent. They do. To, that's but, why I wanted to open them all, because I'm like, I wonder what, even though they say unscented, I still want to smell them. <laughs> Now, is that, how does that work with the scented and the unscented? So the scented soaps, we use essential oils in. So those are all plant-based. Um, we don't use any chemical fragrances. We wanted every ingredient to be high quality and all natural. So we use 100% pure essential oils. And what those do in the soap is they will give the soap a fragrance, but they do not um, harm the skin. Instead, a lot of essential oils have some, some nice dental healing properties. So for instance, lavender is known um, on the skin to be, um, it it heals a lot of um, different skin conditions and it's very relaxing. And we had so many customers that were asking about the, the, the soap being used on their skin that they started asking, what about my pet? Can I use these on my pet? Yeah, that was my question when we were talking about that, because I think that's interesting because if 
if you, if you can use it on the human side, I would imagine that was for some of these scents and everything that you could use them on the pet side. So you are making them for healthy pets, right? Yes, that is correct, John. We started actually in the last month here to be able to offer them for sale to the public because we've been developing the soap for the past several years, actually, testing and working with different scents and figuring out what works for pets, what pets need. And so we found out that a lot of the skin conditions that people experience, being dry skin, eczema, dandruff, psoriasis, those are all things that our animals experience as well. And so when people were asking about if they could use the soaps on their pets, we do not test on animals. So we we advise Good. people at the time to be able to see if if the if their pet reacted in any way you know, to be able to be careful with their pets, but that since there's all natural ingredients in there, we knew that there was nothing that should ultimately harm or damage their pet. And when we had people trying it on their pets, we had the same results they were saying for their skin. They were saying with pets that their pets were had skin that was going back to a normal, nourished state. Um, they, with some of the soaps, they had uh, ticks and fleas were falling off in the bath, and, and our customers were very amazed that these natural soaps worked you know, for man and beast. But um, that that distinction being made, we do now offer separate lines of soap for humans and then also for pets. And the ones for the pets, they can contain like vitamin A, you've got selenium in it, um, alpha hydroxyl acids. So it's very helpful, like you were saying, for a lot of different aspects in, 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 in controlling pet odor. Also, you know, keeping pests off, like you just said, fleas and ticks. So it's great. I mean, I I love the soap, and I'm actually looking forward to taking a shower tonight with one of the bars. Not that I have fleas and ticks, but I'm going to be taking the human <laughs> side of it. Well, so, use the lavender. Don't use the coffee, because I'm I'm assuming the coffee is invigorating. Am I correct? Coffee is. Uh, the coffee bar has a nice, uh, invigorating, gentle scrub. It's it's just a deep skin, um, moisturizing and nourishing soap. So you will enjoy that one. Let me ask you this. We're going to be giving away a couple of the little gift baskets um, of uh, horse oak piece. Um, so, and it's the soaps. Are we giving away, like, do they have a choice of the pet one versus the human one? Or are we just giving the human one away? What do you want to do? We're actually giving away some of our new pet line. So, okay. um, as your callers um, are chosen for selected, you know, whoever gets the gift set, they're going to be able to choose whether they want something scented or unscented because just like people... Um, there's some people that have a, a high tolerance for um, having a fragrance, and then there's some people, you know, who absolutely cannot have it. And just like that, you know, our pets are in the same way. Some of them are very sensitive. Some of them can handle it. So we're so, offering both scented or unscented. So let's do this then. For the next three callers that call in, compliments, of course, of the founder of HorseOPeace.com, and there, that's the soaps. It's Elizabeth Sanders. What we're going to do is we're going to send you out the little gift baskets of soap, and it's for your pet. And you can make sure you tell um, Quinn, our producer, that you want the scented or the unscented, and that's what Elizabeth is going to send you. The next three calls that call in right now, they're yours, 844-305-7800, 844-305-7800. Call right now, and you're each going to get the little gift basket for your pet soaps, and it's from horseopiece.com. And what is the what is the website, Elizabeth? Is it horseopiece.com? Or for the pet side, is there something added on to that? Is it horseopiece.com? I think I saw uh, slash healthy pet. Am I right on that? Yes, John. We, they can go to horseopiece.com, and under the, the different kinds of soaps that we offer, they will find the healthy pet section. And under the healthy pet section, there's um, a few different kinds that they can, that they can go there and, and see what they can use for their pets, whether it's an unscented kind or one of the scented kind. Um, for instance, one of the kinds that, we're offering is called Be Calm, and it has a lavender in it, just as like what you're smelling there right now, I guess. Um, and so pets definitely like the scent of lavender, and it's very calming as well as um, it, it will repel insects. And so it's just it, just like for people, it has certain properties, but for a pet, it's very gentle, and pets also enjoy that scent. Elizabeth, don't go away. We're going to take a little break. We're going to come back with Elizabeth Sanders. She's the founder, of course, of horseopiece.com. If you want to check it out, go to horseopiece.com or you can go to horseopiece.com slash 
and that's forward slash healthy pets. And um, so you can check it out there. But she was just talking about the Be Calm Goat Milk Pet Shampoo Soap. Has a relaxing scent of lavender and cleans thoroughly for a lustrous coat and uh, for cats and dogs. So call right now. And uh, like I said, the three of you are going to get gift baskets from Elizabeth Sanders. And it's going to have the soap in there that you can try it for your pet. 844-305-7800. 844-305-7800. This is Talkin' Pets. And you're listening to Talkin' Pets. Once again, I'm John Patch. I'm Jalen Sidlow. I'm Lexi Lab. I really like that song. Who sings that? Uh, isn't that oh, Be- I pulled it up. Beyonce, isn't it? No. Rich- Rochelle DeMonte. Hi. I'm not sure who that is, but I like the song. 844-305-7800 is the number. We have two more baskets. Compliments, of course, of the founder of HorseOPeace.com. And these are the soaps, Elizabeth Sanders. And we're going to send two more out. So if you call right now, they're yours. 844-305-7800. And I'm curious. I want to know if you want the scented or the unscented soap for your dog or cat. So 844-305-7800. Congratulations to Bill in Shelton, Washington, Donna in Pullman, Washington, and Brad out in Portland, Oregon. You're all getting the uh, the soap for your pet. And it's interesting, actually, Elizabeth Sanders. Um, One was for unscented, but the other two want scented. So, so far, scented... Scent it is winning so far. The lavender (laughs) smells amazing. Yes, it does. I personally love essential oil, so I'm bias, I guess, but I love the scent of lavender as well. Well, we only got a couple minutes left, um, so there's real quick questions I want to ask you, and Jilly brought up one. Um, Yeah, Elizabeth, um, I've always bought natural soaps from, you know, homemade soap places around here in Tampa, and I love their glycerin soaps. Um, Mm -hmm. And is the difference between the goat's milk and the glycerin that it's just more moisturizing? So soaps that have glycerin in them are actually soaps that have been made in the same way that we make soaps, and then the glycerin is removed to make a completely different product. So the soaps that we make have natural glycerin in them through the soap making process, and the goat milk is in there to give the astro- the, the moisturizing aspect that water doesn't provide. So okay. in all of our recipes, we keep water out completely. There's not even a drop of water in there. Okay. And the raw milk that we use is different from other goat milk soap makers um, in general just because the, the raw milk retains natural vitamins and minerals and nutrients that your skin reacts positively towards, whereas some soap makers will use a canned or powdered milk or something else that's more readily available than the raw right. milk. Yeah, and I so noticed... keeping it raw keeps that, that moisturizing quality there. Right. I noticed that they smell real good, but they don't always moisturize. And, uh, yes, that's exactly right. Yeah. Thank you for, for mentioning that, yes. <laughs> There's a couple of things I want to mention before we say goodbye, because I think these are important. Sure. Um, with the soaps, actually, by Elizabeth Sanders, thehorsopiece.com, and we could talk to you forever because there's so much to talk about when it comes to soaps and all, but um, purely basic unscented goat milk pet shampoo, soap for pets, particularly cats, to avoid any fragrance. There's the Gentle Coat Unscented Goat Milk Pet Shampoo Soap to rejuvenate and add shine to dull coats of cats and dogs by using oil infused with... Um, is it calendula? That's correct, yes. Three in one calendula coat? Is, it's, it's a flower, so it's, it's from the pop marigold family, and it has some very mild, mild um, healing properties to it. I'm glad you know that because I don't. <laughs> I, I just I'd love in to it. try that on, on my show puppy and make him all nice and shiny for his big events. <laughs> Three in one coat pest and odor control, uh, goat milk dog shampoo soap, known for wonderful shampooing, uh, coat conditioning, pet. Uh, pest deterring and odor control and then there's the antibacterial cleanse goat milk shampoo soap for a blend of tea tree with anti uh, ant- antibacterial antiparasitic and antiseptic ap- attributes to wash away parasites and ticks combined with the naturally moisturizing addition of jojoba oil now you also mentioned too here on some of the stuff that you sent me elizabeth that it, some of the scents actually the scented soaps are like lavender well tell us what, which ones are the scented what are the fragrances so the different fragrances is in the Bee Calm with the lavender. Um, the three-in-one with the coat, pest, and order control have a bit of a scent to it, which is um, pine tar and then pine essential oil. So you're going to have the pine tar adds kind of a, a smoky campfire almost kind of a scent, but Ooh, I like it that. has amazing, amazing skin um, properties as well as for a, a pet's coat and, you know, the odor control. And then the soap with the tea tree in it has the antiseptic qualities that will help with some some with the pest, but it has also amazing healing properties for the skin just to be a good, um, it, it just helps to brighten 
people's complexion, so when it's used on an animal, it heals their skin back to a natural state. But tea tree is not advised to be used on cats, so that is a dog-only shampoo soap. So you also have lip balms, and then you have shea butter creams. Um, so if people can find out more about these products and the soaps, they can go to horseopeace.com. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. We always love to have comments and questions from people. We have um, in our product descriptions, we always have full disclosure of ingredients, and we don't list the ingredients in scientific names because we want our consumers to know exactly what they're buying and being able to put on their skin. So they can find all of that information at horseopeace.com. And that's the word horse, as in the animal, H-O-R-S-E, and then the letter O, and then P-E-A-C-E, as in peace and love. So horseofpeace.com. Sounds good. Awesome. Uh, Elizabeth Sanders, thanks so much for joining us, and thanks for our soaps. I'm really looking forward to using them for myself, and you can use them for pets as well, of course, because she has the line of healthy pets, so check that out. Elizabeth, thanks for joining us here in this segment of the show. Thank you. I've we'll really let you know how our showers go. To... Yes. <laughs> maybe we'll, <laughs> maybe we'll film enjoy. them. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Elizabeth. Have a good weekend. Yes, yeah, thank you, John. That's Elizabeth Sanders. She's the founder of horseopeace.com. Check it out. This is Talking Pets. Bye for now.